A COVID outbreak after a concert in Santa Cruz County. Four county residents are now hospitalized and the band is at home isolating after testing positive as well. KTVU South Bay reporter Jesse Gary has the details. After opening in June for the first time since COVID appeared, the doors of the Felton Music Hall are again closed in July. We're uh, taking the step to shut down until August 5th to make sure that all staff um, uh, have been uh, received negative tests. Owner Thomas Cousins says after a July 18th show at the hall, two patrons became COVID positive, then two more the following day, and then the performing artists, Grateful Shred, all tested positive for COVID-19. All four patrons have been hospitalized in Santa Cruz County. So that does qualify under the state definition of an outbreak. However, we expect there may be more based on some of the information that's been provided to us by the venue. The Felton Music Hall has been a decades old launching pad for new acts and friendly surroundings for performers who've seen their shine fade. The hall was half full when the outbreak occurred. Some patrons were vaccinated and masks were offered, but not mandatory. Even if you had a perfect case scenario where everyone was vaccinated and everyone was six feet apart in the indoor area, because of just the way the virus works and the breakthrough infections, um, people were bound to uh, you know, develop symptoms and contract COVID. The Grateful Shred posted a statement to social media saying in part, nearly all of the band and crew have tested positive and are at home recovering with their families. The owner of the music hall says he sent emails to all patrons who attended the show July 18th, advising them to get tested. Moving forward, he said masks will be required and proof of COVID vaccination necessary for all employees who want to be scheduled to work shifts. Really hope that everybody goes and gets their vaccine because this Delta variant is nothing to joke with. Cousins says he expects these doors to reopen August 5th. Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News.